Hi everyone and welcome back to a new tutorial on the how to make an egg hatching system series. So in the past tutorial, I've showed you guys how to make this. So if you go ahead and play the game, you should have your old pets saved as well as having an unequip all button. Now this is good and all, but we still need some multipliers. I know a lot of you have been requesting that, so yeah, we're gonna do just that. And also, before we start, if you guys want to support me or want to have access to every single one in my of my tutorial files, you'll be able to find them on my Patreon. The link will be in the description. Uh, with that being said, let's start. So, multipliers are fairly simple to make. Uh, the way I uh, use multipliers is by... Let me show you. So, if I go ahead and play the game... I have, I would have a string value inst inside of my, let's use a an end value or a number value. I would have a number of value inside of my player and set it, set its name to a multiplier. Multi, let's, let's just rename this to M. And this value will be, the its value will be depending on the pet your equipment so if you equip this fairy with let's say it has a multiplier of five if i go ahead and equip it the multiplier will become five if i unequip it my multiplier will go back to zero and how can we make this actually work with well uh, other things such as clicking and getting coins well let's say you have a script that works like this so if i just go ahead and stop at this script so let's say the remote fires, remote fires. Uh, you want to give your player some points. So plr dot uh, leader stats dot coins dot value. Let's say you you set them to plr dot coins dot value plus uh, the amount. So let's say one. Well, instead of just putting one, I'm going to put the amount I want to give, and I'm going to multiply that by plr dot m dot value, which is the multiplier. So it's if the amount is one, and its multiplier is zero. Actually, now that I think about it, that's not gonna work because you always want to have that m multiplier value set to one. So it doesn't actually multiply something with zero, with a zero. And yeah, so let's say our amount is one, and we have a pet equip that has a multiplier of ten. Well, then it's going to multiply that by ten, and it will give us ten instead of one. Now I'm just going to remove that script, it was just a test that I wanted to uh, show you. And we're going to start by adding, well, just that. So enter your egg server, and in here we'll create a string value. Now, why am I creating a string value? Well, the, the answer is, let me show you. So if you add a number value or an int value insta inside of uh, um, uh, the workspace, let's say we, this is number value, so I'm going to rename it to number. I'm going to add a an int value this time, int value, and I'm going to set its name to int. And I'm going to add a string value. Uh, this is, will be string. So the number value will have a maximum amount of, I'm just going to put some random number, and I think it's like 9QA or, or something like that. As you can see, it will always have a limit, but, but for our end value, well, same thing. They all have a limit. As you can see, they're, they're just going to limit themselves. Wait, now that I think about it, I think a number value doesn't have any limits. Or maybe it does. Yeah, it does have a limit. But I think it's bigger than the end value. But for a string, we can have as big of a number as we want. But, of course, it's going to be a string, so we're going to have to use two number to convert it to a string. So, as you can see, we'll just put any number. And this also can hold some text. That's why we are using the two number uh, function. And, yeah, so let's start. So, local multiplier is equal to instance.new, and I'm just going to create a string value. Now, we want that string value to have a name of... Uh, multiplier, so multi, multiplier, uh, I think I wrote multiplier, so multiplier, and multiplier dot, uh, value will be set to, uh, two number, or two string, one, and 
by the way, it will always have a default number of one and multiplier.parent is equal to and the player. Now, if you go ahead and play the game, you should have a multiplier value inside of our um, player. And that actually works. So that works. And now we want to have it so that each time they equip a pet, we're going to have the multiplier set to, well, the, the multiplier of that pet. So local cloned is equal to that. Now I'm going to set plr player dot mult. And by the way, I'm on the equip uh, remote function. So player dot uh, multiplier multiplier dot value is equal to two string. And or let's use let's do at uh cloned i mean cloned dot uh, multiplier dot value now inside of each pet i am going to have a string value called multiplier so multiplier and this one will have a multiplier of two by the way make sure it's higher than one it can be any number as long as it's higher than one make sure to have that multiplier value inside of every single pet this will have a multiplier of three the other one will have a multiplier of four. Now make sure, please make sure you have this in every single uh, pet. So all of these will have, this will have a multiplier of 10 and this multiplier of 15, I think. And I'm just going to put some random numbers really. So this will be like eight. And after doing that in the unequipped remote, I'm just going to, uh let's see okay so when we return and unequip we're gonna do copy this put it here and set that to a two string zero now copy this put it here play the game and go to our multiplier uh number and we can go ahead and equip a fairy and we should have okay it doesn't work it doesn't work let's see multiplier is not a valid member all right i think we spelled it wrong very simple to fix so i'm just going to well try fixing it okay that explains it so make sure this is multiplier and it's spelled correctly or else nothing is going to work. And play the game again. Equip some pets and see if this works. So multiplier, equip this and another, uh, another problem. Okay, so I spelled it wrong again. So I'm going to copy this. Make sure it's actually spelled correctly, or else the same thing will happen to you. So, put this like that, and play the game. Now, let's do the same thing again. It's getting kind of boring, I know. Uh, equip it, and as you can see, our multiplier is set to 2. If I equip this, our multiplier is set to 10. If I unequip this, I mean equip, 10. Same multiplier, and 10 because they are the same pet really and this is a bug that i'm gonna have to fix in the next tutorial because i think we yeah we're gonna have to fix that in the next upcoming tutorial and what i'm going to do right now is make sure that it displays in gy so inside of our xgy i'm going to duplicate this put it here set its text to zero times zero and display multi fire now inside of our inventory client we're gonna have a uh a variable for display m is equal to and uh i think info dot that now i'm going to set the text of the display m to okay go to um and equip all 
uh let's see where are we selecting okay it's here so all you have to do is right here do display m dot text is equal to and wait copy this paste it here and it's text to copy this again put it here dot multiplier dot value now play the game or let's set this to x so times dot dot and that now i'm going to see if this works by playing the game times two times ten and as you can see it works perfectly now what i'm going to do is show you how to make this work with a button that gives you coins or anything now as i said you should have a bit of knowledge about scripting uh so you might not be able to do this you are just a beginner so add a text button let's say that when we click this we want coins so i'm just going to rename it to test and i'm going to put it here now add a local script and do script dot parent dot mouse button one click this is just a thing that i'm showing you Common connect function and game dot replicated storage dot uh remote dot uh Let's add the remote event. Rename it to test. Dot test on fire uh, server. And now inside of our uh, leader has script, I'm just going to do game dot replicated storage dot remote dot test dot on on uh, server event common connect function. And I'm just going to get the player, and I'm just going to do plr dot leader stats dot coins dot value plus equal, and this is the tricky part. So just put the number that you want to give. Let's say I want to give him five, and then multiply that by two number, and plr dot multiplier dot value. Uh, I don't know what I just did. A value, and that should be working. I'm just going to turn on full screen and play the game. And now, if I go ahead and play the game, it gives me five coins each time I click. But if I equip this, it should give me ten. So I should have five hundred and twenty after clicking this. And as you can see, it works. And yeah, this is how you add pet multipliers to your game. If this helped, make sure to subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends, and I will see you all in the next tutorial. Bye!